MC Katz is back in the news and uh, this time around he's trending for bad reasons. Give me my child! Give me my child! Give me my child! Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the first update starting the day. This is The Buzz UG and uh, my name is Melad Milo aka Fula. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting from northern Uganda, uh, six people have been confirmed dead in Arua city and another six in Madiokolo district, while more than 25 are in various health facilities after consuming Waraji, branded CT5, locally manufactured in Arua city. They started feeling signs of dizziness, other symptoms came in and eventually they died. Madiokolo district still maintains six deaths in connection with this suspected uh, intoxication. According to the West Nile police spokesperson, that is Josephine Angushia, the factory has been cordoned off and uh, four suspects have been arrested to help in the investigations. Three of them uh, were from the place where the local gin was manufactured in Pajulu within Arua city and the third one the fourth one happens to be the owner of the kiosk where people drank this suspected intoxicated waragi now, the relatives of one of the deceased said uh, he consumed this waraji with his friends on the evening of Thursday and shortly after he started complaining of the burn that was in the stomach and he was rushed to a private clinic where he died. And uh, his breathing was very, was very difficult. It was very difficult and so he was asking for water because he was feeling too much heat in, in the abdomen. Well, this is a very sad story right there, coming in from northern Uganda. May all their souls rest in peace. Well, in other news, now, Uganda police has revealed that Nakawa West Member of Parliament, Honorable Joel Senyonyi, has refused to hand over his phone to police for forensic analysis in the ongoing investigations in the case of threats and intimidation, which he opened up against the Minister of Tourism, Colonel Tom Butime. Enanga says the fact that Senyonyi has refused to hand over his phone will somehow complicate the investigations as the Police Criminal Investigations Department may not summon the implicated minister, Tom Butime, for interrogation. A horrible Joel Senyonyi, who is also the chairperson of the Kosase, claims he received a call from Minister Butime threatening his life over investigations in the Uganda Airlines, but police says he refused to hand over the phone for them to get voice recordings in which he claims Minister threatened him. Well, in other news... Founding party president of the National Unity Reconciliation and Development Party, that is Muzain Gonke Chibalama, has fled from the country citing security concerns. Chibalama, according to sources, he has been receiving anonymous messages and phone calls from top government officials threatening to kill him over failing to disrupt the mainstream leadership of the National Unity Platform Party led by His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. Earlier this year, it's reported that government, through the speaker, Right Honorable Anita Among, injected billions of money to set another headquarters of the National Unity Platform Party in Rubaga Division, but the project was very unsuccessful after the Kamocha side continued to dominate the political spectrum. We are yet to know the country Muzei Chibalama has left to, and uh, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, in other news... A section of members of parliament from Toro have called for an end on the investigations into the Uganda Airlines, saying it is a direct attack on their kingdom, since the main character in the spotlight, Jennifer Bamuturachi, is a daughter of their land. 
Through the chairperson of the Toro Renzori Parliamentary Forum, that is Honorable Alex Ruhunda, the members of parliament have expressed concern with how the Kosase chairperson, Honorable Joel Senyonyi, has handled the matter. They urge that uh, Joel Senyonyi has gone personal on Bamuturachi with an intent to embarrass Toro Kingdom. Well, lastly, in other news, and uh, this is coming from uh, the entertainment industry, MC Katz is back in the news, and uh, this time around, he's trending for bad reasons. At the beginning of this week, MC Katz attacked his mother-in-law, demanding to have his daughter, Abby, with songstress Fia Motoni. <laughs> Very many people are so disappointed in MC Cuts and they think he wouldn't have attacked the old woman in that manner. At least she deserves respect, even if she's wrong. However, MC Cuts seemed to have realized his mistake. He took to Facebook and posted, was warned, I'm gonna get all kinds of attacks. I'm not saying what I did was right. No, but I'm only human. There you go. I think he realized his mistake, but generally speaking, what he did wasn't right. Well, that's the latest stories trending right now in the country. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Thank you.